program at Minerva. I hope you're all having a fabulous week and today I'm excited to share with you a sew along for this named clothing kilo wrap dress. Now this particular design is sold as one of our kits so should you wish to make this garment everything you require to make any version of this pattern will be tagged below in the kit. Isn't that wonderful? And what we're going to be using today is this Minerva exclusive range viscose jersey. Now this particular design is called Inky Grove and I think you can see why all these fabulous colours in these beautiful shades of blue and it is so soft. It's also a really good weight. So it's going to make a fabulous dress. Now we're going to be making this version, the cover version right here. So it's the long sleeve version but as you can see you can also opt to do it sleeveless or as a jumpsuit and it has this wonderful wrap over feature. Now remember to wash and prepare your fabric before you begin and this ensures that any shrinkage will occur now and not later on. And when you've done that we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces. So check your sizing on the back, take a tape measure and measure yourself to make sure you get the perfect fit and then we're ready to go and begin cutting. So let's go and do that together now. So here are our pattern pieces for our kilo wrap dress and jumpsuit. So here is your back piece. Now you're going to cut two of this piece. This is a straight grain here and we have the markings showing the bust, waist, hips at these points. You need to make a note of these notches here and here. Now this is the front cutting line for the dress but you may wish to use your pattern again in future to make the jumpsuit. So what I've done is I've cut it on the jumpsuit line and then I've folded it back to the dress line. If you don't think you'll be doing this just cut on the dress line but it just saves your pattern. If you don't want to trace it off and you will use it again you can do that. You can cut on the jumpsuit line and then just fold it back on the dress line and cut it out there. Then you also need to make sure that you mark these markings on the leg because you'll be matching those up. Here, look, we have the vent. This is the back vent point. Make a note of this. And here we have the hem allowance is two centimetres. Now here we have the front piece for the dress or the jumpsuit. Again, if you want to reuse your pattern, you can cut on the jumpsuit line and fold it back to the dress line here. Now, when you cut it out, make sure that you mark all your markings again. So the markings for the sleeves here. This is the front point. We place it on the fold and we cut it out on the fold. This is a straight grain. Apex, mark this marking here. This is the thigh point. The knee, make a note of this marking here. And again, your cutting line at the bottom, a two centimetre hem. Here we have the tie. So you're going to cut two of these in fabric and make sure you cut it in the right point for your size. This is a straight grain. You're also going to cut two in the interfacing. Here we have the neck band. You're going to cut one on the fold. Here is the fold here. And make a note of these markings for the shoulder seam. Here we have the sleeve. We are making the long sleeve version. You may wish to make the sleeveless version. So this is the sleeve. We're going to cut two sleeves of fabric and this is the straight grain here. This is the elbow point. Make a note of these notches here and here. Now you're ready to begin making your dress. So first of all you want to wind half of your thread onto your machine spool and also check your machine needle. Now everything is in your kit as I mentioned before so you have ballpoint needles you want to change to a ballpoint needle I'm using the size 80 today for this fabric and also if you're using a serger an overlocker you want to change the needle in that as well. You don't have to have an overlocker to make this dress you can just use your stretch stitch and a zigzag stitch to finish your seams if you don't have an overlocker. So do that first of all. Now when we've done that we're going to take our back pieces 
and we're going to edge finish down the edge of both of the long seam so that can be either zigzag stitch or overlocked and what's lovely with these patterns is you have this lovely little book of instructions which I think is really handy rather than trying to work from the large sheets and all your instructions are really clearly set out in here. So we're going to take those two back pieces when we've edge finished them we're going to put them right sides together and we're going to sew that central back seam down to the vent point so let's do that first of all now apply your interfacing to your tie pieces and set them to one side now you're going to pin your back pieces together right sides facing so we always work right sides facing unless otherwise stated when we're stitching our seams and we're going to pin it all the way down the centre back until you get to your vent point. And here we're going to stop stitching and we're going to back tack and reinforce. So they are one centimetre seams unless otherwise stated. So let's stitch that back seam now and you're going to do this with a stretch stitch on your machine. Press your seam flat when you've completed it, this gives you a nice finish. Now with right sides facing you're going to place your front on top of your back and we're going to join it at the shoulder seams. Now when we do this we want to add in a piece of stair tape. So we've got some clear elastic tape in our kit and we're going to cut two pieces the length of the shoulder and as we're stitching this seam in position we're going to stitch this tape down also. So I've just pinned mine loosely here at the shoulder and then when we stitch that seam we're going to press the edges towards the front. So I've put it on the front piece so that when it's pressed down it will be underneath like this. So this is the back and this is the front and I have my tape just here. So just cut yourself two pieces and we're going to stitch that in place now at the same time as we do the shoulder seam. Now if you stitch your seam tape in with the seam tape underneath so it's pinned in position you are less likely to stretch it or pull it out of position. I'm just taking my pins out as I go. Your tape on the other side. See if you have it on the top your foot, your presser foot, tends to push it and you can get sort of stretching of it. So it's best if you put it underneath. With right sides facing, bring your neckband edges together and we're going to stitch the back central seam. Press this seam open. Then with wrong sides facing you're going to fold it in half lengthways and press it like this. Now you're going to pin your neckline to your neck band. So what you need to do is line up this central seam of your neck band with the centre seam at the back here. Then you have notches on your neck band which line up with your shoulder seams like this. Then what I've done is I've notched the centre point, so folding this band in half of the band and the centre point of the neckline and pin that and then we're going to have to stretch on it a little to pin this the rest of the way because obviously we want our neck band to be uh, tighter than the, uh, the neck hole otherwise it would be loose and hanging baggy. So pull on this a little pin the rest of it in position. As long as you've got those key points everything lines up and is in place as it should be. So your neck band in place, stretching a little as you go. Now at this point when you've pressed your neckline you can add in your Minerva Maker label that comes with your kit and that says hashtag Minerva Maker on the back now I've just added it underneath here, just stitched it in a straight line so when you flip that neckline back down it just sits there neatly at the back. Next you're going to pin your sleeves to your armholes. 
So open up your garment so you've got your back going this way and your front going this way and here is your shoulder seam. So here is my sleeve and we have notches indicating where the sleeves start. Then we have two notches here at the back on your sleeve and on your dress. You have the central point here for the shoulder, this lines up with the shoulder seam and you also have a notch here at the front, one on your sleeve and one on your dress and then the notch where the sleeve starts. Pin it at these key points and then pin it the rest of the way. Now we're going to stitch that in place again with a stretch stitch and a one centimetre seam and when you've done this you can edge finish your raw edges. Now you're going to pin it right sides facing from your sleeve cuff here all the way along past the underarm and then out towards this corner point here. So when you get to this corner here we're going to stop. So we're going to stitch this seam along the sleeve, reinforce up the underarm, stitch to this corner. When you've done that edge finish your seam and then we'll press it towards the back. Now you're going to stitch with right sides together the long edge of your ties and also the short edges where it's pointed. Now you might find it's easier if you push it through a bit at a time when stitching this and then pull it through. If you're finding it difficult you might find it's easier to leave this edge open and then thread it through with either a bodkin or a a large darning needle with a few stitches and poke it through that way and then tuck this in and stitch this after if you're finding that difficult. I found it was best to sew a little, push so much through and then turn it to the inside and carry on. So do whatever works best for you. So I found it was best to get my point poked through before I did the rest of it. So this is what I mean. So I've stitched this end here. Stitch so much of your side. Trim away a little of the excess. Just make sure you've got those sort of points poked through before you go any further. It can be quite hard when you've got all of it through. Now you're going to pin your ties in position so you line them up with these notches here. So here is your corner and here are your right sides. So your tie is placed to the right side at the back here and then it's sandwiched between the seam, the front and the back and pinned in position. We're now going to stitch from this corner here all the way down to the hem, down this side seam with a one centimetre seam. Now you're going to turn back your back vent. Now you can turn this back twice if you've not edge finished it but I've overlocked mine so I've just turned it back the once and you're going to stitch up each side of your back vent. Now turn up your two centimetre hem at the bottom of your dress or alternatively try it on, see what works for you lengthwise and also your sleeves. Then ensure that you have a stretch stitch on because this goes narrow this dress at the bottom at the ankle so you do need to make sure that you've got room for it to stretch and move with you. Now hem your sleeves. So here is the finished dress. So it crosses over at the front, you pass it over at the back and then it ties here so we have these folds. It's a really nice shape and it's a really good fit. Well I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. I think you'll agree that this is just a beautiful dress. I love the shape. 
it's a wonderful fit and it works really well with the viscose jersey fabric i think they're just a match made in heaven please let us know if you've sewn this pattern before remember to include any photographs we always love to see what you've been making maybe next time you could try the jumpsuit version remember to have a look at the minerva craft club to get 10 percent of all your orders for a whole year and of course, you can create a free account with us to join in our wonderful worldwide sewing community. If you like what I'm wearing today, this is another one of our viscose chalet fabrics. And this particular design is called Retro Rockery. And the top I'm wearing today is by Stylark and it's the Courtney top. I will tag those products in below also in case you're interested in making this. Well, that's all from me for today, but I hope to be back with another sew along for you really soon. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye for now.